Today we're going to be checking out a handful of tactical 18650 flashlights, including the Welltool T12, the Welltool T19, the Sofern SP31 V3, the Workos TD05, the Armitech Doberman Pro, and the Nextorch TA30C. We'll check out each light and take a look at some beam shots, and there will be timestamps down below in case you want to jump to a specific light, and you can find links down in the description which will also help support the channel. This is the new T12 from Welltool, and this one has been nicknamed Nine Dragons, and it can be picked up from my website Goodnight Gear for a little over $133 using the coupon code US10, and this light has a very heavy, robust design which would make it excellent as a striking tool. There's a single clicky switch on the tail, and there's a handful of different mode groups and output levels including a strobe. There's no port on the light, but it does come with an external charger and a Welltool branded 3000 milliamp hour INR 18650 battery. And while this design is a bit less convenient, it helps to improve the water and dust resistance if you need a light that can withstand rough use in harsh environments. There's a very small crenulation pattern on the bezel, and it's got a wide, deep, smooth aluminum reflector and a 6500K cool white XLED. Max output with this configuration is 2000 lumens. The intensity is really high at 141,000 candela and the throw distance is also very impressive maxing out at 750 meters. This light has the most intense hotspot of the bunch so it's going to be the most effective at spotting things at long distances but the beam angle is also relatively wide which combined for a very versatile beam pattern. Before we keep going be sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and we've got a bunch of different flashlight videos coming out this month including tactical 21700 lights and 18650 and 21700 EDC light comparisons so if you need a new light this year you'll definitely find something good somewhere in these videos so be sure to check those links down below. Another light from Welltool is the T19 and this one has the nickname the rash and this can also be picked up for about $131 using the US 10 coupon code from Goodnight Gear and this light is a bit smaller compared to the T12. It has a single tail switch and the UI is more simple with two different output modes and this is also a charging port free light with an external battery charger and another 3000 milliamp hour Welltool branded INR 18650. This light has a smooth stainless steel bezel and a softer orange peel style reflector and this one has a high CRI RA90 XLED with a 5000K neutral color temperature. Max output on this light is 2050 lumens, beam intensity is 27,000 candela and the max throw on this light is going to be around 327 meters. This hotspot on the T19 is much more diffuse compared to the T12 but it does have a wider beam angle, which is going to make it better suited for short to mid-range use. And the beam color is exquisite, and this is going to be easier on the eyes for extended durations compared to the cool white lights. Sofern was very excited to send out their latest version of the SP31 V3. And at the moment, you can pick up this light for around $36. So it's very affordable for a tactical 18650 light. And it is also the smallest and the most pocket carry friendly tactical light in the lineup. There is a very nice anti-abrasive smooth finish on this light and it's clear that they've stepped up their build quality a lot in the past few years and this is a dual switch design with one on the tail and there's also a side switch which will give you access to eight different modes including a strobe beacon and an sos and there's a USB-C port on the opposite side for charging and sofern provides one of their 18650 button top branded batteries the sp31 v3 has a smooth bezel and tir optics and this light has a cool white 6000 to 6500K color temperature and an SST40 emitter. Max output on the SP31 V3 is 2000 lumens and the peak intensity is 18,100 candela with a beam throw distance of about 269 meters. This light meets the definition of flutter and there's no defined hotspot here, but there is an ultra wide beam angle and this is going to be an exceptional light for close range use like hiking or taking walks with. The Workos TD05 is a very affordable light coming in at around $37 on Amazon at the time of making this video. And it has a fairly basic body and a dual switch design, which I do like to see in a tactical light. And there's seven different output modes, including a strobe and an SOS. We are up to date with modern charging with a USB-C port on the side and a 3000 milliamp hour Workos branded button top 18650 battery included. There's a crenulated bezel and an orange peel style reflector. And this one has a 5000K SFT40 emitter, which will produce a neutral white color temperature. Max output on this light is going to be around 1800 lumens, the peak intensity around 34,750 candela, and the max throw distance will be around 373 meters. 
The beam profile and color temperature on this light are very similar to what we saw with the T19. And this is another mid-range light with a neutral warm color temperature, which is very pleasant to look at. And for the price, this light really does offer exceptional value. Here is the Army Tech Doberman Pro, and this is another brand that I've been very fond of for the past few years. And you can pick up this light for about $95 on Army Tech's website. This light has a really nice smooth anodization, and there's a tail switch with access to six different output modes, including two strobes. An Army Tech branded 3,500 milliamp hour flat top 18650 battery is included and they use a proprietary magnetic USB charging setup which is a little inconvenient but it is able to maintain an impressive IP68 waterproof and 25 meter impact rating. There's a crenulated bezel with a very deep smooth aluminum reflector and there's a high intensity LED which can be picked up in cool white or warm white color temps. The max output on this light is 1500 lumens with a 368 meter throw distance and the beam profile is much more narrow on this light compared to the other lights here with a relatively intense hot spot and this is going to be a good light for spotting things at distance. Next Torch has always been very generous in sending out their lights to check out and this is their TA30C tactical offering and this light can be picked up for around $99. The TA30C has a nice chalky feeling anodization similar to Army Tech and there's a rotary style tail switch with a button that gives you direct access to turbo and then the rotary switch here you can use to access four different modes with the strobe. There's no port on this light but the included 2600 milliamp hour battery does have a convenient USB-C port. This light has a nice tactical strike bezel with nano ceramic glass breaking beads inlaid and there's a smooth aluminum reflector with a luminous SST40 emitter. Max output on this light will be 1600 lumens peak intensity 22,952 candela and max throw is about 303 meters. The beam profile on the TA30C is more of a hybrid style with a cool white color temperature and the hot spot on this light is mildly intense and is pretty similar to the T19 and the TD05 but the beam angle does appear to be a little bit wider but you do see the silhouette of the glass breaker inlays on the bezel which is a bit funky but overall not too bad from next torch. This wraps things up. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching. And if you're still looking for flashlights and want to see some more comparison videos like this one, I'll leave a playlist down below. And there will also be links you can check out if you want to learn more about any of the lights in this video.